Hi guys, so today's tutorial is just a fall smoky eye. I used Antiqued, which is a super gorgeous color. It almost reminds me of the color of Rust. Super, super pretty. Also on my nails, I'm wearing China Glaze's Evening Seduction. Love this color for fall. It's so, so pretty. So um, this is it. And if you would like to see how to do it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've got my soft ochre paint pot all over the eyelid and my NYX Jumbo eye pencil in milk just on the right underneath the eyebrow and in the inner corner. And now I'm going to take Quite Natural, and this is a brown. It's just a matte brown. And I'm going to take my, this is my e.l.f. brush, and I'm just going to looks all weird because I used to use this for my eyebrows and those are like little brush marks. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the eyelid. Just kind of angling it up at the edges or at the outer edge. And we just want a nice brown base for our eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to turn that sideways and run it underneath the lower lash line, just about halfway in. Okay, now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and I'm using Brulee from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to go all over the eyelid, kind of just stopping at the edge of that. Like that. And now I'm taking cork from MAC. And it's just this color right here. And I'm taking my 224. I'm just going to just put it over that brown and then kind of blend the edges and just blend it out at the corner of the eye. And for a good smoky eye, you really want to make sure that it's blended out at the edges. Okay, so now I'm going to take, um, let's see, I'm going to use Antiqued and it's this nice red brown super pretty fall color and I'm using that same elf brush and I'm just going to pack it on the middle of the eyelid just like that and then I'm going to just take a little bit and run it underneath the lower lash line And we're going to go about three quarters of the way in. Okay, now I'm going to take Dark Horse from the Naked Palette. And I'm just going to put that just on the outer edge of the eye. And I'm just angling my brush toward the end of my eyebrow. I'm just bringing it in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take that same 224 brush and I'm going to use cork again. And I'm just going to blend those colors together on the edge. And if you need to get a little bit of antiqued again, just to kind of wash it over the eyelid. Okay, so that's where we are so far. Now I'm going to take my Smolder eyeliner and just line the waterline, the top and the bottom. And I'm going to take the Stila Eye Caudrel, and this is an onyx, and I'm just going to line that top line lash line just barely and then I'm going to take my elf brush again and just kind of smudge it out and 
Okay, now I'm going to do my winged eyeliner. And I'm using my pencil brush and my Stila smudge pot. Still trying to use this up. And I'm just going to line the top lash line. And you can always take a Q-tip and clean up anything that's left behind. Okay, so now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl my lashes. And someone was telling me to uh, curl my eyelashes and just let it set like you would if you were curling your hair. So I will do that. While I'm doing that, I'll show you what I used on my face. I'm using Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I just contoured with my MAC 168. And let me just see if... Okay. So I contoured, and now I'm taking my cream blush, and this is something special. And I'm using this Sephora Mineral Powder Brush, and I've been using this for my foundation, and it's been working really nice. It's really good for mineral foundation, but it also works great for um, liquid foundation, too. So I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. It's really light, but it provides a really nice base for your blush, and it makes it more vibrant, and it stays on longer if you cover it with like a powder blush. And I'm using the ELF's Candid Coral. That same brush. And then I'm highlighting with Stila's Kitten. With that same brush. And I'm also going to clean up that area a little bit with my concealer and I'm using the Boing concealer. I'm trying to use this up. And I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter color, number one, and just put it right in that little crease right there to kind of brighten up my eyes. And then the powder that I use to set my concealer is, this is um, Urban Decay's Ultra Razor Sharp Defining Powder. And I just put that over my concealer so that it doesn't crease and it stays. Okay, now I'm going to use Brulee again from Wet n Wild, and just an e.l.f. brush, and I'm just going to go over these areas again underneath the eyebrow, and then in the inner corner. And I'm not going to do anything shimmery in the corner because the eyelid is pretty shimmery, and I'm going to apply mascara. And I always go down and swipe the top of the eyelashes and then bring them up from the bottom. Bring it up. Bring the mascara wand up from the bottom. And a little bit on the lower lash line. And that actually really worked pretty well for my eyelashes. I'm going to have to curl the other one again because it's already fallen.
Okay, so that's it for the eye look on my lips. I'm wearing, this is 901B by Wet n Wild. And then I'm using, um, this is Bare from MAC Lip Liner. I put that on already. And then Pink Whisper Lip Gloss.